Okay, so we'll look around this uh, rather lovely 1959 Plymouth Belvedere four-door sedan, finished in sort of orangey brown colour uh, with uh, cream roof. Um, apparently, it is an original Plymouth colour, um, and fully spec white wall tyres. Power steering, it's uh, the automatic transmission one. This one is the little straight six, I think, is it 283? Um, it's the three, whatever equates the 3.8 litre. Uh, but it's the straight six one automatic with power steering, um, luckily, manual windows and everything like that. Uh, bench seats. The only modifications from standard, it's got a pancake air filter under the bonnet, although the original is in the boot. Um, it's got a more up to date. Um, radio cassette fitted which all works nicely with electric aerial uh, and it's got a dashboard mounted clock although that doesn't seem to work um, but aside from that I'm no expert but it seems to be um, seems to be original to me and it's rather gorgeous it's actually an award-winning car it won an award at the um, American Auto Club of Great Britain show at Easter this year and say so we've just uh, taken it in part exchange rather lovely I've uh, I did about 120 miles in it yesterday performed superbly um, Right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits to take a quick stroll around here. All the chrome is absolutely lovely actually. It's very, very nice. Um, really, really nice finish on the paintwork as well. I think it was painted about... Oh, God, when was it? About 19, 18, about 24 years ago, I think, from memory. Um, I think. I can't, can't absolutely guarantee that. It may have been painted since. Some of you may know the car and be able to um, point me in the right direction on that. But anyway, around the front end, all absolutely lovely. Um, all the front bumper chrome's nice and everything's in place the way it should be, nothing missing. Tiny blemish, a little sort of couple of stone chips just there on the edge of the bonnet, but no more than that. Looking down the near side, straight as a die, really nice. All the panel fits are really good actually. Um, much better than you'd expect. Near side front wing is all nice and the sort of presumably vulnerable area down there all looks good. Um, sill joins all look good without any filler in them or anything. Up here we've got a tiny blemish just there on the bulkhead and another one just there. Screen is all good, roof is nice. As I say the chrome is excellent, there's a couple of dinks in the chrome on the on the rubbing strips on the sides, that's where cars have been opened against it, there's one there. I think there's one on the uh, on the fin on the back there. Um, inside here, the interior is really nice actually. Um, all the door cards are in great shape, presumably. Um, they're the original type door cards and trimmed accordingly. Headlining's lovely. Uh, the seat trim is is very nice. And again, I presume this is this is original. There's a tiny nick just there. Um, carpets, I would imagine, aren't the original ones, but uh, are all in. Uh, nice shape and the dash is nice as well really nothing really much to criticize on the interior it's all uh, all exactly as it should be and there is a cover for the um for the radio it pops over there so you can hide that if you're entering into uh, competitions and things the speakers aren't obtrusive they're in the footwells and on the rear shelf um but yeah lovely in there. And the door bottoms all look pretty good Pill a pillars all look nice on this side. Along here, that all looks nice as well. In the back it's the same, all good in there. And the door itself looks to be good. Everything shuts nice and say the shut lines are really nice on it. Near side rear wing is all nice. There's, there's just a bit of water there. Um, near side rear wing is all good. As I say, there's a slight dink in one of the in one of the chrome bits. Oh, there it is on the on the top of the fin just there. That's about it. Um, around the tail end, a couple of bits of blemishes in the paint just there. Um, again, the uh, the rear bumper chrome is really good. It's not pitted as such, just while I was driving it yesterday. It's got uh, one or two marks on the chrome, but it's not pitted badly. Um, so I did 120 miles on it yesterday in uh, not particularly nice conditions. Um, a few spots of micro blistering and stuff up here on the offside rear corner. The offside rear wing all looks really good. A um, little bit of bubbling just coming up there under the chrome, just there. The 
really am picking holes to be honest, considering it's uh, 55 years old. 56 years old. Um, certainly older than me, just. Um, offside sills all look to be good. There's a bit of paint missing just there off the back of the offside front door. In here again, it's lovely in here. bit of a blemish just there on the back of the offside rear door. Um, offside front door looks good as they say sills and the bottom of the offside wings all look nice. Another little crack in the paint, a bit of a looks like a bit of blooming in the paint just there on the offside front wing but that's really it. Presents superbly actually. Oh and there's a touched in scratch just there on the on the offside rear door which the paint match could be better. Again, A pillars and B posts and everything all look nice. Uh, the dash is all good in there. Door card's nice. A bit of bubbling just there on the roof. That's about your lot. She's, uh, say, <laughs> she's a lot of fun. I'm just going to take it for a, a cruise around Henley um, in a moment. Get lots of looks. Anyway, that's about it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards, with a 2% surcharge for credit cards, and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it.